Again, in this video, we're going to be looking at constructing angles. This time, we're constructing an angle of 120 degree. Now, this is pretty straightforward again, so let's pull out our instruments. There's my rule. And let's say I am going to draw, I, I, I'm asked to draw a line segment of 8 centimeters. So let's pull out my pencil quickly. And I'm starting from 0, and I'm going straight up to 8 eight centimeters all right so that's pretty good now at from the let, let's give this line segment a name okay let's call this line segment let's call it w w k so this is my line segment oops w let's let's write that a little bit better that's our line segment w K. All right. Now, what if we were asked to construct a 120 degree angle at the point K? Now, okay. Now, that's pretty easy. Let's just look at it quickly. Now, I will take out my my uh, compass and okay, let's just flip this a bit so that we have it in the right direction. Okay, good. Now, I will take out my compass, right? My pair of compass and open it to any radius it doesn't matter any radius right but I've all as I've always said open it up to a radius that it's pretty comfortable to you you don't have to open it up too wide okay so I'm going to work with that for now but the next step is to place your the point of your compass at the point K where they ask you to construct the angle okay I'm going to use red for my construction lines because my construction line should always be faded now after you have positioned your the point of your compass at the point K now I am going to swing an arc from my line segment WK here so my pencil should be on that line segment as I am illustrating here and I'm going to swing the arc in that direction alright good now after the arc have been swung what I'm going to do I am going to take my I'm going to take my compass now and I am going to place it at this point where the arc touches or cuts the line segment WK now I am going to just swing an arc now from that point cutting the arc that has swung before now again I am just going to take after I've swung that arc I am going to take my compass and I'm going to again place it w at that point of intersection because if I'm constructing think about it if I'm constructing a 60 degree angle uh, if I'm construct sorry if I'm constructing a 120 degree angle but when I was constructing a 60 degree angle before um, this is what we did okay so this angle here would be 60 so if I'm constructing a 120 now then all I need to do is to swing the arc once more because 60 plus 60 would give me 120 so if I should from this point this 60 using the same remember the compass can't afford the compass to slip now have to be the same radius and we swing another arc then 60 I'm through with that now so this 60 plus this 60 would give us 120. Now, after you have done this, you would use your rule to draw a straight line from the point K through the second, where the second arc intersects the first arc. So let's just look at that quickly. I'm gonna use a blue line. So use your rule though, because I have some fancy tools, I can use them. So from the point K here, okay, I'm going to draw a line going through the, that point of intersection with my rule straight up it doesn't matter where you stop out here and that is a 120 degree angle good bye bye